Hey Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today I'm literally so excited. Well, right now I am making an iced coffee. I was already going like a thousand right now. I need to calm down because it's going to be a really, really ex Ooh. it's going to be a really, really exciting video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some plants that are doing super duper duper good. This is not hey, wanna say hi baby? You wanna say hi? Well let me get you right there. You know, this is perspective, huh? Usually down below, right? Do you like it? Do you like it, baby? Want to kiss me? You don't do kisses, right? Okay. Want to go down already? You want to go? Okay, fine. Let's put you on the sofa, baby. I'm gonna get like the sofa a lot. Yeah, baby. Woo! We literally deep brushed him. He has like different brushes. I got it from Walmart, by the way. I think this is from Amazon. No, I think it's from Walmart, if not Peco. I honestly cannot remember, but I do not. Ooh, Valentino, baby. That's, that's a try for, baby. You can do other things. You can like brush against the sofa, against the shelves, but the tripod. You want to move the tripod, sugar? You want to move it, huh? You don't like the, you don't like it where it's at? It's in the, you know. Okay. No, baby. No, baby. Oh my God. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all would mind or not. I think it'll be like kind of fun. I think maybe I can do it off camera, but I think it'll be kind of cute on the camera. I'll just play with them and I'll like add the footage just to like, I don't know. Like I honestly love watching cat videos on YouTube. So that's what I'm saying. Like cats and plants and coffee is like such a vibe. And I think it'll be kind of fun to like play with him with his little toys and like add it on the video no matter what it is. Cause he's already building an audience, y'all. Like he's already getting a lot of friends online. So Valentino is being Valentino. Yeah, baby. So this is a deep brush. This is a basic one. This one is only supposed to be done like twice a week, I believe, but no more than that, cause it can irritate them. This is to like really, really get in there. And it's pretty cool. We did this yesterday, no, two days ago. And oh my God, there was, sorry, I said it's my bad, y'all. Oh my God, those. It literally made, it was, it was crazy. It was, it's like, he's a husky. I guess that's just how long hair cats. He's my first ever long hair cat. I've always had short hair cats. I've never ever had long hair cats. So that's why I fell in love with them because I always found their stupid super cute. But wow, that fur is furring. <laughs> and it's like every single day, kind of like kind of brush. And, my boyfriend was using it yesterday and he loves it. So, but yes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of these plants that are doing super duper good. Not just doing super duper good because a lot of my plants right now are like blooming. I'm blooming, whoa. A lot of my plants are putting out new growth. I like to look at them as straws because they look like straws with their unfurling. And yeah, so there's a lot of them. It will be like crazy. And did they also how, how you ran? You just ran. He just ran. I think he knew it was, uh, uh, wow. I think he knew it was already his feeding time. So that's why he just like went crazy like that or whatever. I just went ahead and got the top of the top of the plants as of right now that are putting out new growth. And I just think it's super duper exciting because I love watching growth updates. Now there's not really growth updates. Like I didn't show you guys from the beginning to like as of right now, but they just look super duper cool. There's so much happening with them. And I just want to share it with you as if you're like here with me. If you came over and visited, I would have literally pulled these plants out and like, look, look at this. Like, look how pretty it's doing. So that's basically what this video is. So it's not really like a theme. It's not really like a nothing that special, but it's special to me. And I really do hope you guys enjoy. But before I start, let me know your top five or top 10 house plants that are putting out new growth. And it just makes you super duper happy. Like again, I, there's a lot, there's a lot. Even, even my lipstick plants and some other plants are blooming, which is pretty crazy. And my piece of just always bloom, but I always gotta snip it, snip it, snip it because it's pretty bad for cats. So let me get my iced coffee and then let's start. Oh girl. <laughs> I ended up taking out the trash because I was like, might as well, right? First of all, I'm really out of shape. <laughs> and then I got my iced coffee. It's just basic black coffee with the skinny syrup. It's really, really good. It's my kryptonite. <laughs> and I try to drink too much coffee. I didn't make it that strong. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to like, 
I don't because I feel like people think I consume lots of coffee back then I did sometimes I do and I'm like have so much to do and I really really need that caffeine but I've been keeping it pretty cool and pretty calm these past days I've been consuming tea but today is a really really exciting video and I want to make some coffee to enjoy the vibes really really good I guess I'm using I'm reusing the Charlie's drinks which I'm pretty surprised because first of all Charlie's is so good the sandwiches or subs, I don't know what you want to call them or what they're called. They're, ah, oh, they're so good. I get the buffalo one. <laughs> We're already talking about food. It's just so good. And I usually get that and then I get like a large spray. We always get foam cups, which I don't really mind, it's whatever. But I was, in other words, I was really, really surprised. What I'm trying to say is I'm really, really surprised that they give us these. They're super cute, pretty heavy duty and I'm Mexican and we like to reuse things a lot. Like if it works, it works, girl, you know? It's a good size too, because <laughs> I have like, I have my own, my mugs. I mean, I will not drink a nice coffee because it's too little. And then I have my other fancy glass cups, but it's just too small. So mm, I did have two glass big ones, like nice for iced coffees, like for this, but they broke. So um, yeah, and I still have a scar. <laughs> I was washing it and it's my fault for going too aggressive when I was like cleaning it, but Okay, I'm gonna let the caffeine do its magic. And I'm just really, really excited. I'm just so happy. Okay, let's just talk about it. Cause like, I'm gonna do this one. Cause it's like literally killing me right now. Like, oh my God, I can't even talk. So this is my strawberry begonia. And I know you guys can't really see. I'm just gonna be meowing a lot. So he just got fed as y'all saw. And he's just the most attention. So maybe I might just do a video of Valentino of like literally just like, Feeding him some some cute food, or just a day in the life of Valentino, being fed, being played with, him looking at the at the window, <laughs> and then cleaning the cat litter. I don't know. I'll just figure it out. But I literally feel like that's what he needs. His own video. He's just like make that sound like whatever. But this is the strawberry variegated begonia. She don't look that cute and aesthetic. And don't even tell me about the salsa because it looks disgusting. But she's doing so good. I used to kill this plant. I, oh, I had it twice and I killed it. This is my third time, third time's a charm. And it's doing so good. I'm like literally shit because I know, do you see those hairs coming out? This was the first one and there's a baby. <laughs> I don't think you understand, girl. This is such a pretty plant. It doesn't look that cute right there, but trust is cute. And I remember, <laughs> I always wanted one and I always saw it on Instagram. Sorry, I can't even talk no more. I used to start on Instagram. They look so cute. And I was like, oh, I want one so bad. I just love the pink. And it's like a little spider plant. It releases babies. I kept killing it. <laughs> and then I got it. My boyfriend, I, I, he also has his own. I'm taking care of it too. Pretty soon she will be pushing out babies. But now she's making babies. And the thing is, this one, this is not the, her first time putting out babies. She's actually done this. I think twice the first time i was like freaking out and i underwatered it and it they they so it's like a like a not like a spider plant because spider plants can dry out but they won't kill the babies i think it's just this one that i know it girl it it, it like doesn't how much like <laughs> it kills the babies girl like she sucks the life but she's like <laughs> i need that water uh, <laughs> and so that's why she's always dirty because i am making sure she is moist and dumb dumb me which i don't really say an insult you guys but I gave her a really, really chunky mex because that was back then when I was like, chunky mex is aesthetic, it's pleasing, it's all over Instagram. All the husbands are gonna love it, but not all plants are designed the same. So <sighs> now she's happy. So I'm making sure that she's water. Hold on. Yeah, tell me why. I thought somebody texted me and um, it was just a healthcare provider. What? <laughs> Anyways, so. It looks ugly, but girl, she is happy. You can see I am also fertilizing her. So I, she has a chunky mix and I kind of want to give her a better moisture, reten excuse me, moisture retention, I guess burps, reten retention, putting soil, but she's doing so good. You can kind of see where the grow light's at. She's doing so good that I don't think she might need it. I think I just got to keep doing what I'm doing and she'll be happy. And maybe outgrow this planter and then I can repot it. So she was from a tiny little planter to now this bigger one. And it's a face one from Lowe's. 
but oh and with the face girl look at her giving hair she said i'm thinning but i'm so cute Ooh. <laughs> you guys and like look she put out this one this plant is spoiling me girl and now she's putting out this one and she put out this one and now she's putting out this watch them all die tomorrow girl i swear to god <laughs> oh sorry i'm trying to get better not saying that word i know some people get upset because i'm using his name in vain I don't really mean it like that. It's just a, a bad habit that I, I just, I used to always say that because one, us gay people say it all the time because like we're gay, we say OMG all the time. I'm like, OMG, you know? And yeah, it's just a habit, but I'm trying to get better to not say that to not offend people. Um, Cause I don't want to get nobody upset. Even though it's impossible. We're not gonna get to say that. We're not gonna get into that whole conversation, but my bad for saying that. <laughs> I could edit that part out, but I already blabbered all this. So it's okay. <laughs> Guys. Oh my god. Ooh, stop. Okay, next. Wow. <laughs> I can cut that part out, but I just keep extending. So every time I say that, I'm going to say, excuse me, my bad. And then just cut that part out and then move on forward because like... E. <laughs> Alrighty, what's the now? Oh, okay, we can do this one now. So this one is... Oh, it's now with a saucer. That's a barrigade, strawberry barrigade begonia. We do see those versions at Lowe's and Home Depot, but like they're like the brownish tones ones, which are beautiful. But I always want the pink one because I'm hella, like <laughs> you know, hella. Uh, pink is pink. Like I needed, I needed the pink one. So <laughs> I love that one so much. It's really, really bright considering that it's a plant the pink is pinking girl and the back I, I know you guys saw the back a little bit it's also the back is fully pink it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and i'm just so excited for it to put out babies i also was thinking about the first time i put out babies i had the water it died and the second time it only gave me one string i chopped it and then i propagated it and it was doing a okay but it died i think i underwatered it but now for some reason i'm at home now I did a huge declutter, which helped me a lot mentally. I took a break a month from plant anything plant related and I really recharged me. It made me appreciate what I wasn't really appreciating. It made me like go back why I got into houseplants, why I love houseplants. And it made me really realize all about that, you know? So that time, that break really did help me a lot. And all of my plants are doing so good. I'm gonna cry because they're just doing so good and i'm just so happy for them because i know i do what i gotta do but they're the ones that are pushing up the growth i'm looking at my fiddle because that girl looks so bad she's not part of the list but she could be that fiddle was so bad <laughs> and oh valentina's like right down there can i do that yeah valentina's right there just watching me these are the windows for the natural lighting the fiddle is like right there you guys can see that but oh you guys like i'm just really really happy with the plants and I'm just proud of them. I'm, I really, really am. And then spring is coming in, which means I can go crazy in the balcony again. <laughs> I miss my wild jungle in the balcony. Uh, I didn't got no complaints. I'm hoping this year I won't get no complaints, but we'll find out when time passes by. So I'm gonna take another sip on my iced coffee, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna show you the next one. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but. <laughs> It's a like variegated monstera Peru. Now I know Lou girl, I know she looks so bad. You're like, oh, David, what's going on over here? So remember how I told you I had my little, like a month of a break and stuff like that? <clears throat> Bro, she was outside. She was outside. Actually, it wasn't even that. It was twice. She's been through like multiple episodes. The first time she was doing so good. If y'all remember, I think I posted it as well on YouTube community post, but I also do have it on my Instagram page, how she looked. She was giving what she was supposed to give she was gorgeous she was stunning she was beautiful variegated pushing out lots of new leaves she was outside she appreciated the humidity the warmth of the summer bright and direct light she was giving and then the the, the peak came in of summer and the balcony plants were just getting overwhelmed for me a little bit and then the bird thing kind of made me like eh. So, and that's a whole different thing now. I'm okay with, I'm kind of okay if a bird lands on the hanky baskets again. What I'll just do, I'll take cuttings of the mother plants, right? And I'll just have more babies and the, the birds can have the, the basket. That's the one that they choose and that's the one they'll get. I just hope it's, it won't look too brown because like obviously nothing care of it. 
can't really water it if there's eggs or birds or like you know if there's a nest so i hope it won't get we'll find out we'll find out if it happens again there's a high chance it will because they already done that two years <laughs> so there's a chance they might do it again but this is a burger that messed up. I literally thought you guys I killed, and if you have one, I think majority of us, unless you like a monster Peru variegated magician, I don't know, but they're slow. They grow really slow unless you give them everything that they want, and then I really don't know why she went really downhill. But yeah, and then I also did. I did propagate this one. I had like three cuttings. Everybody was telling me, David, don't chop it, David. It's gonna get bad, David. And yeah, they, they don't look that cute. The mother plant kind of took a hit. You can, you can actually see where I cut it from, right there. It calloused over. You would think it would split. That's what happens with plants. Whenever you chop them up, they they put out two... Sh they put out two shoots. <laughs> I'm not used to company, guys. So like whenever I hear sounds, usually I don't really mind. Because I think it's Valentino, but he's like right there in front of me. So that kind of freaked me up a little bit because I was like, who's that? So usually it does two sheets, but this girl was like, mm, no, I'm going to do one. So she only gave me one. Um, that was the, the whole guy, guys. Well, oh, she's putting it on a leaf. So anyways, yeah, she was like going downhill, right? Because I did a mess up a lot of times. But I placed it in the grow lights and I was hoping for the best. I am fertilizing her, giving everything that she needs. For a moment, I thought she had passed, but I check her majority of the time. I don't really see nothing on the foliage and the new leaf looks pretty good. So I think she's doing A-OK. -okay. And she just finally, after months, <laughs> she put out this new leaf. So Burger de Masarepurus put out green leaves, but they do transition to the variegation. When I first found that out, because I always wanted a Burger de Masarepurus, I actually have the green one. You can actually get one from Lowe's, from the big box stores. Look at her. She's super cute. Uh, yeah, so they put out i when i first saw that i was like oh my god why is she putting out green like is she reverting i paid so much money for it i paid 70 dollars i believe <laughs> for this plant uh so i was like <laughs> hold up <laughs> like where's the receipt no and i was watching a lot of videos and i was really reading a lot of google and supposedly you just got to give it some time for it to harden off and yeah as the second she hardened off she was showing her, her beautiful colors so i'm i'm kind of curious it could just stay green because a lot of plants when they're not doing so good but i think she'll be very good i can tell i don't know if you can see by the lighting but i think she'll be very good at some some splashes when plants are not doing so good and they're very good at much of the time they'll put out just green growth because they really really need the uh the, pho the photosynthesizing they really need that the energy so it can keep so it can bounce back and get back to health right so i wouldn't be surprised if it's like kind of really really green but i, I did a saw some variegation you can kind of see it on this side over here the fine lines and then i just saw this right now you can see a new leaf this one just unfurled two days ago and she's already pushing out to the next one your plants if you have not fertilized your plants please fertilize your plants i was always told to do that and i was like don't tell me what to do no <laughs> i used to be like oh my god that's a lot of work like i don't want to do that but what i do this works for me and it might not work for me i don't know because I, I know i experiment a lot <laughs> i use get okay, i use micro fertilizer there's a lot of other amazing fertilizers out there i'm fully aware of that but i'm ignorant kind of i just want to stick with this because it works and it's cheap it's easy access and I don't gotta order it online. Um, especially right now, girl, there's no money right now. So, well, for things like that, because I already have fertilizer, right? So yes, that's why I use Mercury Girl Fertilizer. It works, it's cheap, it's Walmart, and I'm always at Walmart. So that's why I use Mercury Girl Fertilizer. There's a lot of things out there. So I put a tiny bit in my watering can and I basically fertilize my plants 80% uh, of the time when I water them. So if I water my plants once a week, it's an example. If I water my plants once a week, uh, within a month, that's like four times right um, watering, I'll fertilize it three times and I won't fertilize the next one. So I'm not really, I don't have a schedule. I'm not really consistent, but when I see growth on my plants, I give them a little boost. If I don't see, see them doing nothing, I give them a little boost. And if I still don't see nothing, then I pause because I feel like maybe it's just dormant Maybe she doesn't really need these nutrients, but that's how I do it. I just, every plant's different. That's why giving schedules and stuff like that is pretty difficult because everyone's everyone's environment is pretty different. We can tell you, um, anybody can tell you like 
what the plant wants but on a schedule and like how much to give it it's a little bit iffy right so it's just a little like uh not price makes perfect it's just like over time you'll learn how much fertilizer to give it how much light to give it how much water to, well light is a whole different thing how much water to give it depending on lights and temperature and humidity but that's a whole different thing so yes i am giving her fertilizer i think i'm gonna slow down a little bit because i don't want her to um burn i know that's the thing when you over fertilize and i don't want that to happen especially when i i I dump out the propagation that I had took like a month or maybe I think it took two months to propagate in sphagnum moss and I saw roots I placed them in soil I did saw some new shoots coming out I left them outside in the summer heat and they baked a little bit I bought them in I watered them they were bouncing back and then my Thomas put it back outside because I know most of the really love the heat not hot 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 but they like it a little bit hotter than how we do a lot of plants love the temperature as us humans do right uh yeah so but most of the photos i noticed under my care they kind of want it a little bit warmer they want to feel the soil warm not hot and they will appreciate that and they will show you by putting a lot of new grass that's what i noticed with my most of the Peru. uh so yes and i put them outside because i was like oh they bounce back a little bit of warmth is gonna speed it up and it did but whenever you put something outside duh right when you put something outside and sphagnum moss and it gets hot in the summer you have to like water that like daily and if it's exposed which it should be because it's so hot it can like actually bake in a container which it was had like a little lip maybe twice a day but i learned you live and learn right one thousand percent and with this plant stuff you you can read a lot of stuff there's book smarts and there's street smarts and with this the more the better information you can get and like the better like advice you can give it's when it's wisdom and that's only possible if you go through all this kind of stuff right so yeah i live and learn i like to experiment every now and then people tell me what not to do and i like to do it and see if i if i can make it happen and when i don't then i look a clown and i learned i learned that they're actually right but it's been some of the cases when i'm like okay maybe they were not that right so but you only know if you try right if not so Yes, Monstera Peru is pushing out a new leaf. I'm really, really happy because for a second, I thought I lost her girl. I thought I lost her girl and I was like, nah! But no, she's doing really, really good. She don't look the best, but trust, I saw her in her worst and I'm gonna be here for her best. <laughs> That's the very good of Monstera Peru. All right, next up is going to be this one. This is not that crazy. Well, for some people, but for me it is. This is my variegated baby bunny belly's propagations. This plant propagates super duper easily. And she's already pushing out lots of new leaves. Like even when I, where I cut, let me see if I can show you an example. Yeah, over here I cut, but they put out this side thing and it is on a grow light. So these new growth is gonna be pretty variegated and pretty. So I'm really, really excited. This one will be going outside. <laughs> I wanna propagate more of this one. I really, really love variegated baby, baby bunny bellies. It's so soft. I can literally like, I know it look crazy, but trust, even if you have the, the, the non-variegated baby bunny bellies, which I do want, it's just so, it kind of tickles a little bit. And then the back is beautiful. I used to say it's maroon, but it's purple, girl. For a moment, I thought it was maroon, but no, it's like purple for sure. Beautiful. This plant will look gorgeous in the ceiling, in a hanging basket, or even if you have it in a shelf, trailing, as long as you have it a little bit high so we can see the under, of the foliage right that would be so pretty but the front and the back is cute uh i love this plant you can see where i chop it up a lot again i can chop it even more and this one does split if not what I, it does it puts out side shoots even more i and i'm gonna show you my other plants right now so this is this one really really hyped because it, it's just so easy to propagate and it i i love it i really really do i'm gonna show you the mother she's right above me well not above me She's, very, she's kind of thirsty, so I'm going to probably... Yeah, she's thirsty. I'm going to water her after this video, but look at that. Fun fact, this one also died on me. <laughs> she was bad. She had nothing. I think I stole my channel. Ugh, you got to go back for like a hot minute. But months ago, she was almost all dirt. And what I did, I just gave it a lot of grow light because I saw a little bit of sprouts. And I was like, okay, there's still some left. There's still some hope underneath all the brown leaves. And yeah, 
she's doing a lot good so i'm literally i don't want to do it now but i i would i want to finish this video because i gotta post it today um yeah i'm gonna water her i'm gonna put it like literally right in the kitchen so i do not forget and i was cleaning my container which i'm currently using it for my twister plants right now i like to have these these uh containers I don't think I have one with me right now that I can show you, but there's all these amazing containers at the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, they have no holes in them, but they fit so good with the Christopher Hangy baskets, and it's the perfect way to bottom water your 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 plants. And what I do is once they're there, I bottom it overnight. That's how I do it. I don't really have any root rot. I'm in underwater, so I think that's why. But I. I get them from the Dollar Tree. I do want to get more, but money's not good right now. Like for stuff like that, down the line, hopefully before it gets out of season, they're really, really good. And then once it's been bottom watering and I can see the soil is nice and saturated, I take it out. Usually I like to put it in another cash pot so it can drain excess water, where I put it in the tub and let it do its thing. And then I rinse the container. I spray some pine soil, something to disinfect, right? And I leave it there for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then I rinse that really, really good. And then I let it air dry and that's it. That's how I bottom water a lot of my hangy baskets. And it's been working. It's been working really good. Alrighty, next up is going to be this one. I know I showed it to y'all in a ferret houseplants video for January. <laughs> and it's this one. It's variegated J scandapsis, y'all. Tell me why. I'm like, it's putting out a leaf over here, too. She's putting out leaf. Look at the leaf over here. And then she has another. She just put this one out, which was so pretty. And then she put out this other one. And now she's putting out this other insane one. So crazy. So crazy. So, this is my Brigada Jiscondopsis. And I actually bought this from Botanicus uh, last year. And the beginning and the beginning of fall, I believe. And it was a long little small container. I chopped that girl up. I think I paid like 60. No, I paid like 45 dollars for it, which is not that bad. Actually, back then these were like kind of expensive. <laughs> they used to charge, they used to charge a lot for these, you guys. But now you can actually get these for like $35, $20, $20. Sorry. I whenever I see comments, you guys. I like to read them and it makes my day when everybody comments on my YouTube videos or on the Instagram plant posts or Facebook posts. It helps me a lot. And I also love to hear your guys' opinions. I'm very nosy, so I see each and every single one of them. So thank you so much for everybody that does interact with the videos. But you don't got to, if you know, just simply by watching my videos is the more I can ever ask for. So thank you so much for everybody that is still watching my videos. I know I have been a hot mess especially 2023 it was my worst year i think so but it was for a lot of people thank you for still sticking with me i i, I don't think you guys understand how grateful i am that y'all are still here with me because i still question myself i'm like why are these people still here <laughs> like like I, I don't, but I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed so thank you so much for still giving me company and still letting me be myself and crazy and still learning over all these crazy stuff that happens but yes you can actually get one of these for really 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 cheap uh like on facebook marketplace or on a local nursery for like twenty dollars i've seen some for like yeah 20 20 25 35 dollars so a uh, note you got yeah i know so not the whole plant girl but these grow so good if you have one you know i have been hearing a lot of stories about a lot of people having this plant how easy this plant is and i used to <laughs> i used to hate skin dapses, you guys they used to get so leggy i think it was in one of my 2022 videos like my plants that i hate something like that and scandapsis was like number one i hated that plant because i love the foliage there's so many different gorgeous varieties out there and they it just wouldn't click with me i i, I said i posted a, a post literally recently on instagram like right now and i i basically said that this plant was always advertised as low light so in the beginning i used to always place it on low like low light because i was like if it says that it, it means i can tolerate it so yes it is true scandapsis can tolerate low light like a lot of other plants some more than others which will make them low light house plants 
but it doesn't mean that it should. A lot of these houseplants would thrive. Even low light houseplants, even snake plants, drancinas, golden potos, these plants can be in low light. What it basically means <laughs> is that it's going to take longer for it to give you signs that she is stressed and she, that she doesn't like where she's at. It's going to take her a hot, hot minute to show that, which is why they say that. But a lot of these plants, all the plants, would really benefit with grow lights, bright and direct light. They would grow like crazy. And like this one, for example, the, uh, a lot of Scandopsis that I had, I, I also had the Scandopsis Exotica, but I give that one away. And I have my little depression episode, but it's okay. I'm in the hunt for another one. If the, if the time is right, I'll see it. And I'll, if there's money in my bank, girl, I'll snatch it up. Because you can usually find a Scandopsis Exotica almost anywhere, especially local nurseries you can. Which, by the way, I do go. People ask me why I don't post uh, local plant shops. I do, but a lot of people don't really watch them, so that's why I don't post them, but I do visit every now and then and check what they have, and that's how I find some goodies. But if not, if I don't post it for an actual YouTube video, usually what, what I do, I post it as a TikTok or as an Instagram reel a lot of the times. So I do visit and try to support my local plant shops. You know, we still want them to be up in business and we love what they do and what they offer. They offer a lot of plants that we will not see and the local big box stores. So we love that a lot. Uh, it, is, it is a little bit expensive sometimes, but since it's a dedicated plant shop, it's not like Lowe's or Home Depot, it has like a side thing. These plant shops obviously do care a lot. Majority of them do care for the plants a lot. And yeah, so it's worth the money if you have the money. But I'll see, so this plant used to get long and leggy, leaves were super duper tiny, and it was just disgusting. I didn't like it, I didn't like it at all. But the second I realized that the, the more you like you give this plant, the big, oh, fertilizer as well, helps a lot. The bigger the leaves are. I saw these leaves and I was like, oh my God, you're big. And oh my God, you're big. And now this one has me in chokehold. It's literally so huge. And this is its next one. It's not that big, but like, wow, literally. And the leaves are just beautiful. <laughs> They're so pretty, so stunning. There is a white one. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but that one's a little bit more priced. I have noticed that the yellow one is a little bit mid-range. The white one is a little bit more, a little more dull, but I think I love this one so much. Oh, it also releases really a propagate. I propagate this plant a lot and it does benefit. Um, this plant will produce side shoots, which means it'll make it bush bushy. I love this leaf and I would love to leave it here, but I think I will basically chop it up. And I think I would chop it up. You see that node? It doesn't have a leaf because it fell off, but I would chop it up behind it and I'll, that will become into a wet stick. And I'll propagate it and it will produce some babies in there, like uh, a, a leaf. I just basically why I chop my plants is since as y'all saw there's a lot of new shoots coming out of it I chop it up I literally chop this plant up and I do have another one which I'll show you well I'll show you guys another video I don't want to pull it up right now because I'm a little bit lazy but <laughs> I have shown it to y'all though and uh yeah so really really to propagate I will cut it because I want this plant to get more bushy it is in a nice size pot for, to allow it to produce a lot of nice um, vines. I do want it to grow nice and big, but it will just get smaller and because when it gets trailing, it's kind of hard to give each leaf a lot of light. So when I chop it up, it makes it more easier for me, you know, to put in the shelf and give it a lot of light while I have more cuttings. And I will chop this up and this leaf is special to me. So there's a high chance when she roots, she's gonna have his own container and she's going outside. When the direct sun is not in the balcony no more, because in the summer and spring, it go, it becomes indirect. And the, what do you call it? In the winter and fall, my balcony gets direct lighting as well as the living room windows because the sun changes, but it's gonna change pretty soon. And I cannot wait for that. I miss the longer days. I hate to say this, I love the cold, but it's been a wet winter and the humidity gives me a little bit of anxiety. My plants have been loving it though, but just, it's just been too much. And I miss, I miss the heat. I miss going to the Corpus. Uh, I miss going to the beach. So kick it in, girl. I'm ready, I'm ready for summer and spring. Watch me complain and hate it. <laughs> but yeah, this one's really, really cute. It's doing so good. It's just putting out lots of new leaves. So we love Scandessives. I, I know, I mean, I don't want to show you guys really, like I know my Masada Peru, Baragata Scandessives, 
the strawberry barrigata begonia. I know they're kind of like uncommon and I don't like to show that too much on my channel because I want to show a lot of happiness and enthusiasm and stuff like that on plants that are pretty basic, like my golden potos and drancinas. I do want to balance because I know some people get bored of that. So I try to like balance it out. I know right now I just caught myself. I have a lot of plants that are kind of like in the uncommon section and I don't like doing that because I, I know, I don't know. I, I don't want to like, you know, if you know, you know. So yeah, I hope it doesn't come off as the wrong way. I, I I would love to show golden potos, but I don't have one. I got rid of them because like I said, when I was getting rid of plants, I was telling myself, the plants that are easy to get again, if I ever change my mind that I want plants again, because in the moment I was like, I'm not gonna get into plants no more because I just mentally cannot. I would get rid of and those obviously golden potos you can literally find them anywhere so <laughs> that's the one of them that went bye bye so i don't want one but i do know that not costa farm they saw some beautiful golden potos so if you've been seeing the plant shopping videos they saw some pretty ones but in the low section outdoor section i don't even remember they saw these oh girl, they saw these massive hangy baskets girl of golden patos for like, I think they were like 19, something like this. And now they're a little bit cheaper because the, the hanging baskets, of course, are from the 2098. They used to be 1998. They're like, what, like 11 inches, 10 inches? I don't even know. These other ones, <clears throat> it big, it big, and oh my lord, it's gorgeous. So that's what I'm waiting for. I know they do it every year, so I will be waiting for that to pop up so I can go ahead and snatch it up, girl. I'm probably gonna get two. <laughs> It is what it is. I think they're gorgeous. They're big. I love golden puddles. Anyways, next up is going to be this one. So this is so recent for us. I got this last month, but the amount of leaves she's putting out, there is some dead stuff I can clean up, but I've been so scared. I'm touching this plant that I don't even want to bother her girl. Like I just, I leave it. I make sure she is watered and she has, she is fertilized now. I'm burping on it. I'm so sorry, girl. When I get excited, I talk a lot and I swallow air. <laughs> I, I have a big mouth. So like, I just gulp in air out of excitement. It's a weird thing, so my bad. And also I'm drinking iced coffee and that has no combination, so I think it's just me swallowing air. But yes, this is the Silver Band Maranta and I'm actually even more hyped, hyped because a lot of, oh my God, a lot of you have been telling me they got like finding it at the Target. At the Target, I got mine at HEB, and there are starting to pop up a lot more in HEB. I tell my mama, because she shops at HEB more than I do. I shop at Walmart because it's closer to me. HEB is kind of far, but I love my HEB. And my mom, she shops at HEB, which by the way, it's like a Kruger's, I think so. It's like a, it's a grocery store. But they have a pretty good selection of houseplants. They work with Max and Miles, which I have worked before. Hey, I love Max and Miles, girl. Not because like they work with me, but they do, offer good plants for really, really cheap. I pay $9.98. I never thought I would ever have this plant. <laughs> this, this plant was so expensive, girl. It was expensive for me. And I know Steve's leaves was selling it for like, like $35, $38, dollars something like that. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because it's a Maranta. I, I, I told my, back then I used to actually kill them, but now for some reason it's starving. I think it has a lot to do with lighting. I'm getting direct light in my apartment. Um, that's gonna change pretty soon. And the humidity in my apartment is like 60. I found that I'm not the only plant creator out there. I was watching some other creators out there and they also say their, their, their home is like 60% humidity. I was freaking out because like mold grows at 60% humidity, but as long as you have airflow, As long as you have airflow enough, I, obviously when my jungle grows, I have to add more fans. And I do have my air purifiers, which not just airflow, air circulation. And I have my air purifiers. I have one in the kitchen because it's like the popular section where people walk by. So I wanted to capture dust and stuff like that, right? And it also captures fungus gnats, which is by the sink, so that's perfect. And then I have one in my bedroom. There's no plants in there, but I do want to order another machine. Not right now, I would like to and to have more airflow. So you can have really high humidity because I was freaking out because I was like, I'm so blessed and grateful that I have all this amazing light, but I don't want to get mold. 
as long as there's air circulation, it's gonna be a lot harder for mold to grow. And as long as it's not consistent, and it's not consistent. Like in the nights, it drops to like 50% humidity. Sometimes, sometimes it can get up to 40% humidity because we run, we run the, oh my God, we, we run the AC <laughs> at night, which dries out the air. And then in the day, it gets up to like 60 when I'm cooking or doing laundry or just stuff like that. So also the plants because they're respirating, right? They're doing their thing. But look how many, she just went for this one. Oh, she's so sexy. She's sexy. Like, <gasps> no, but I got, like, this is like, ah, oh, French. I almost said a bad word. Okay, sorry. Oh my God. I'm breathing, I'm like breathing so bad at the plant. But they like the, they like the carbon, carbon dioxide. Here's another one by the dead flower. <laughs> Look at that. And then here is this other one. And then here is this other one. And I know I saw more, I'm like crazy. There's just, it has it has a lot of them coming out of it. And I thought I saw more, girl. Hold on, I thought it was like, it felt like there was hundreds. That's how it feels right now. But she's doing so good. And this is a, oh, she's also blooming. So I'm already taking full of the credit because I just got her. So it probably is so happy from his, when I was in the nursery. And that's probably why she's blooming. But it is a it is a beautiful. It's not gonna focus. It is a beautiful, tiny little petite flower. It's gorgeous. It has like some pink detail. It don't smell, but it's gorge. It's gorgeous, y'all. The amount of light it just glowed in the apartments. Oh, and I miss the lighting, but it's okay though. I miss the balcony, <laughs> y'all. Oh. So yeah, I was saying $35 is not that expensive with shipping because I think he does charge for shipping. <clears throat> and the other person I trusted was Ed's Steve's Leaves. This also was Etsy, but it was for the same thing. So it was like $40, $50. Moran says I used to kill them. That's why I was going the whole blabber about that. Wow, I blabber a lot. <laughs> I, I I was like, I don't want to pay that much just for the plant to die on me. I, I used to get them. They used to get a lot of spider mites, mellybugs. Spider mites was a big thing for me. Now I, I found out by Plants by Melis, Melis, Melissa, Melissa on YouTube. She, I watch her a lot. Literally when I watch her, I I get so calm. She has such a calming aura and a vibe. It makes me question my channel a little bit. I'm like, oh my God, like, wow, I want to be her. But no, <laughs> I think we should all be ourselves, right? But I love her videos. I always say that. And I say in a way that people are thinking like I have a crush on her. I'm gay, girl. But she is beautiful. She is gorgeous. Her her husband is super cute too. Nothing like that girl. He's he's handsome. But she is beautiful. And her plants are like her plants are insane. And she does moss post girl. So she is that kind of girl. I love her so much. Uh, I think we were mutuals on Instagram. We didn't really talk. I think we like commented i commented myself and she responded and i was like eh. i was geeky now <laughs> i love her videos girl and her instagram is literally insane so i uh, was watching her videos and i found out that her marantas back then used to get flat mites i didn't know that was a thing i probably had had flat mites and i don't even know what that was i always knew spider mites mealybugs aphids scale now there's flat mites what so um I hope this plant don't get that because she is too beautiful. I know this, the <laughs> Miss Home Girl, she has like a little thingy that she looks in there. I'm too scared to do that, girl. If I see that, listen, girl, you know, if you know me, I don't mess with spiders. If I see a spider, I'm gonna burn the plant. I don't play with spiders. If I see, ooh, if I see those eight legs moving around like that, uh -uh, it's going straight to the, to the trash. I don't do spiders, but this is an exception. If, if it's on here, I'm already itching. If it's on here, I'll do everything I can to take care of it. But I really don't do spiders. Spider mites are spider mites, but I cannot see the spider in it. I just see little white things moving around and I don't want to see up close, but I need to look into flat mites. I don't want this baby to get that. And I think it's pretty common on Maranta's. Right now she is doing so good. And she is, I did fertilizer. Ooh, you can kind of see the roots. Pretty. Max and Miles. I feel bad because I posted the video on Max and Miles when I found this plant on HB and I didn't tag them. I know it's pretty good if I tag them. I didn't tag them, but they liked it. And I was like, damn it, I should have tagged them. 
And I was already when I went viral already, so I was like, it's a little bit too late. But I will post it on this on Instagram and I will tag Max Miles. I love them so much. I really, really do. They're an awesome company. They really, really are. And the fact they sell, like, so a little water droplet. The fact they sell really, really great plants. And I believe the ones that sells it in Target, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's Wiles and Terriers who sells them in, tar in the Target. I do have a Target, but I feel uncomfortable when I walk in. I, I, I feel like I got too comfortable with the chaos at Walmart so that I'm already used to that's more homey to me. When I walk into Walmart, the light is so bright, girl. I can see it on my acne. Oh my God. So that's the Walmart. And that's the Silver Amaranta. I've just been stalking that plant. All these plants, I've been stalking them like nonstop. The strawberry begonia, I look at those new hairs coming out. I would scream if there's another hair coming out. I call them hairs because they look like hairs to me. And it's pretty in that plant in the face with her lashes. Oh my God, that would be so cute. The way, that's how I see them on Instagram. That's how I fell in love with the, with the variegated strawberry begonia because I saw those face planters, the strawberry variegated begonia with the babies coming out of it. And I was like, oh my God, she is giving. And if it does it on this one, the manifestation is literally insane. And the variegated silver, silver memoranda, I like to stalk, stalk at it and see how many leaves are coming out of it. My variegated J. Scandopsis pushes out, there's more plants by the way, pushes out more beautiful leaves and I just love to see each leaf, they're so different. They look the same, but as a crazy person like me that sees the detail and everything a little bit, I look at it and I like to see the new leaves coming out. The variegated Monstera Peru is putting out new leaves and, well, leaf, right? And it is reducing another one, but just really, really happy that she, that he or she, I, I know how my plants a lot of she, because, like, I call everything girl, right? So I'm, I'm not really sexually identifying them. I just call it she because it's more of a vibe. That's why, so. But, yeah, the Mosera, Variegated Mosera Peru. Very happy it's not dead. And then the Variegated Baby Bunny Bellies. Ah! Y'all yeah, saw me. Like, I like how soft it is. And it's always... Propagating plants is extremely rewarding. It's really, really fun to see... Oh, that hurt my teeth a little bit. It's really, really fun to see the the, the success because you don't really see the roots unless you put it in water. But the way I see the success and the way I get dopamine released into my head with propagations with that one is when I see new leaves and I see new leaves. So that was a huge spike of dopamine into my brain and I love it. So we got a couple more, you guys. Next up is this one. This is my summer glory philodendron. And... <laughs> I have not posted a picture on the Instagram or Facebook. This is going to be for, woo! This is going to be for tomorrow. Wow. Look at that leaf. I'm so, wow. Cause I know what happens if they turn green. <laughs> I have her in the kitchen. I can, I can point. Behind the Mostera Esqueleto against the wall. That's why I have it. Cause she's so big and wide. So I have her like, like this against the wall so it can get light as well. And these two new leaves, what you can you can already see it right there. God ah! <laughs> Yeah, now hold up. <clears throat> look at that. But look at this one. It's beautiful and velvety. I have not seen a mallybug. This was infused <laughs> the way I'm saying that. With mallybugs, but I, I was doing the what you call it? The rubbing alcohol. Hey, look, here's one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just squish it. I have hand sanitizer almost everywhere and I just disinfect my hands by doing it. Cause I know when you touch a plant that has many bugs or you kill it and then you touch another plant, you can kind of still spread it. But when you put rubbing alcohol in your hands, you get dead. so. Yes, uh, but yeah, she was really, really bad. Really, really bad. But after doing the rubbing alcohol, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I believe that is scale. Okay. Okay. It could be damaged, because sometimes these leaves get damaged. And it's an old leaf too, so it would make sense. Usually scale likes to be in fresh growth. I'm gonna put this in my restaurant, I'm gonna quarantine it. I just caught that. So I've been seeing it and rubbing it, and like I was saying, I was doing the rubbing alcohol treatment, and she has bounced back. As you can see, she is pretty happy with lots of energy, and she's putting out not one, but two new leaves, and then she has these other new shoots. 
the soul that you kids can barely see it. Other knee shoots coming in, and there's like a little baby one over here struggling to come out. Look at that. And then here's another one. So Miss Girl is doing extremely well, but I did just saw that. So just to be safe, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, and it's pretty, I'm gonna admire it more in the restroom. I'm gonna check the other plants that are over there. I think everything's fine, because I literally, the reason I have those plants in the kitchen is because usually they're my favorites or they need to be watered consistently. And I have it there because that's my popular, popular. That's the most walked path that I walked on. And I can usually see if, it's, if it needs water and it's by the sink, so it's pretty easy to just get a watering can. So that's why it's there. But this one was there because it's pretty. I mean, look how thick she has got it. So we're not gonna lose her with scale. I only saw like two and I'll check the entire plants. I know a scale can also hide and it's like they're not opening the door, girl. <laughs> but, you know, good thing I caught it as early. It's always good to catch pests early. It does get me a little bit sad, but it won't be a jungle if there's no pest. I mean, it's just bound to happen. And I, in the beginning, I never had any pests. I was always proud of that. But the longer you have plants and the more you have them, you will get something and, um, yeah, so kind of sad, but good thing I caught it early because I'll be super devastated if it was infused with scale and then I spread it to my new mustard skeleton and all the other beautiful plants that are right there. So I'm gonna put it literally like over here and I'll kill her with some rubbing alcohol. Um, with the book, what I did, I used to have a spray. I don't know if I have it with me. It's 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water and I just spray. Uh, and it just kills it. it. It kills the mealybugs on contact with the spray bottle. But with scale, the, and I've learned they sell, I saw it on Facebook, they saw these um, insecticides. Not, I think that's what it is. They, you put it in the soil, you sprinkle it, or you put it in water. Because I know pests can hide in soil. This year, I really want to educate myself and be on top of that with a lot of my plants. Hands on I'm going to be touching my plants and really really handle that as well but ooh. but yeah with scale with the q-tip rubbing alcohol dab 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 and the, you know it's dead when it moves sometimes you'll see like some color in there i think it's like red it's been a hot minute since i had scale the the i don't know if you guys remember my massive monstera deliciosa she had a scale <laughs> it was really bad she was in the balcony and that's how she got scale. actually i never had a scale until a couple years back, when I had a jalapeno plants that I got from the store, I never checked it. I had it on the balcony, and I was like, I'm gonna have jalapenos, like super cool, super fun. Uh, after a week, it was infused. Oh, it gave me the heebie-jeebies. Infused, I'm getting chills. I up it later so you guys can barely see my hairs. Infused with scale. And I have plants in there. And my monstera, my monstera, my massive monstera de so that was a gift from my grandma. I think I bought it from her, but it was so cheap that I considered it as a gift. And what I had to do, I, I dumped the jalapeno out because I was like, bye. But my, I, I didn't check my other plants. And after like four months, it took a while, but after four or three months, I started seeing scale. Oh my God. Ugh. I started seeing scale. I don't know why it freaks me out. On the Mostera Deliciosa. And it was the worst. It, and my mosquito was so huge. So what I had to do, I was getting too overwhelmed. I was doing my best, but it was just too much to handle. So I chopped a lot of leaves. I, I saw in the video, sometimes when there's a, a nice luscious plant and it's in, it has too many pests, one of the options is you can like cut 50% of the growth and it's like half the work that you have to inspect and treat. And that's what I did. But after that, I believe it did help a little bit. <sighs> so, something came back. I, I put it against the, the 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 wall and it was getting burnt by the sun too much and then the skull came back. I guess because they really stress, I don't know, because I know when plants get stressed out, they release a smell and um, some pests, I think all of them, can smell that and they see that as a buffet. So I had to dump out the mozzarella deliciosa. It was the worst. It was the worst, you guys. I It was so sad, but you live and learn. Sometimes way too much, like it gets repetitive. All right, next up is going to be this one, my Ficus Shiburano. 
I know she wasn't the favorite house plant video, which is why I'm not gonna blower too much on this one. But she just put out that new leaf that I'm literally showing you, and she has a new one coming in. The the all the other new leaf was that little brown one. I don't know what's wrong with that one. That was ugly. But she is getting nice and lush. I got this from a local. That wasn't really local, but it was from a, a garden center. I paid thirty-two dollars for it, and yeah, she is still alive, you guys. I just, I'm really, really happy with this one. A little bit of me wants to put it outside, but no, I'm not gonna risk this one. This one, I know it's pretty common. You can get this one now. I saw them at HEB. You can get this. Where have I seen them too? Home Depot. You can get these at Home Depot from Proven Winners, I believe. You can get these now for really cheap. This used to be so expensive. Remember when I first found out about this one? A little four inch pot was like 300, no, that's a lie. Like $100, $200? So, yeah, and a little bit of me was gonna pay for that. But no, I waited, and then, yeah, they just dropped in price. So this one's really, really good. I'm just waiting for that very good fiddle leaves to drop in price, but I highly doubt it's gonna happen. I think there needs to be a demand for that. I remember this one, the way it got popular is because it was very trendy on Instagram. I think some creators posted it. Over time, it got, it got, it got attention, and companies, I guess, saw that, and they mass produced it. Fiddles had attention a couple years back and I guess it died down. I think nobody really likes fiddles because they're kind of finicky. If you don't have the humidity, the light, they get mad and they just don't do good. So I guess nobody wants a fiddle, but come on guys, let's get into the burger. I don't know. I think I might, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, next up is going to be this one. I think I'm gonna give you guys some close up shots on this one. If I cannot show it to you, you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it. So this is my burger string of hearts that we propagated by the butterfly method. I did it on a TikTok live that I stopped doing because I don't know if I can do that. It's so scary. It's so scary. And I was alone. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the, it, I got like a couple people, but it only became into four people watching, which it was kind of a vibe. It was, we were actually chatting a lot. And there was like, I think a few of y'all that were like there and something like, I like your videos. And we were just chatting. But then after that, my mom joined and I got like really, really, I got really nervous and shy. So I had to end it, and that was the last time. But I think I did one live again one time with Valentino doing plunchers outside. But people were saying, "Why are you not talking?" And I just wanted to like go live and share like the, the almost like the sunset, the vibes, and Valentino, because I wanted to do plunchers regardless. But I was like, "Let me just go ahead and like go live and share that." But that wasn't that wasn't it. So this is the Burger King of Hearts. You can kind of see a lot of new babies. I did it by the Spagnamos. And I used to always do this, but one thing that this is what I'm doing differently and it's working. I I get the string, I cut it in the on the butterfly method. So you have like a set, right? In the middle, it's the node. And I place them in spagnum. So you want to make sure there's contact in it. And then after like a week, usually that's how long it takes, you start seeing some white fuzzy roots. After that, what I do, I get a potty mix. I plop them in the potty mix with their not too long, because I used to wait when it was too long, but it was harder. You want it to be like kind of like that, right? You place them in some soil and then you make sure that it's moist. You don't want to drown it because very good parts don't want to stay moist, but it's still in that sensitive kind of era. Era. <laughs> and you get the container. I got a saucer. Anything you can do to mimic a greenhouse effect because they still need humidity. The roots are not that fully developed and they need the humidity, but we want them to finish off and harden off in soil. And then you just do this. I don't tape it. I just leave it like that. So there's still some airflow. And every now and then I open it and check it up to give it some fresh air so it doesn't um, develop mold on it, right? And I make sure there's grow light. Grow light, light is so important um, for a lot of plants, but especially when they're like vulnerable, when they're cuttings or when they're establishing or when they're bouncing back, they really need that light to be happy, right? So they can be happy and put out new growth and bounce back. But that's what I'm doing. And as of right now, it's doing so. You can kind of see this long one coming out already. It's doing so good. Really, really happy. And I kind of like the way that I did it. So I did it again. I did it on a Costa Farm planter because I wanted, oh, she's still wet. Shoot, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this instead. It was on a Costa Farm planter because what I want, I want this one at the balcony. I almost gonna stay inside because it's kind of cute, right? Mm. No, I want to have it outside. Inside also, it just depends on my vibe. I'll just make another one. Because I do want to have one inside. It was kind of cute having it against the, the window. Because they do trail nicely. But what I want is, I want a nice, I feel like the, 
the wider the radius is that what it's called is it could be shallow it's preferred to be shallow like this is perfect it's wide but it's not too deep right like a box the more beautiful and lux like luxurious i guess i can say that too uh fuller the plants look and that's exactly what i'm trying to do i don't really i really want to see a massive hanging basket of burger shingle parts I don't really see it that much. I usually do, but it's like in Vietnam or something like that. Like people, like, you know, the Indian, Indian, Indonesia, Indonesia, where they have like all the bougie, all the bougie plants. They usually have it. <laughs> I see them on, on their Instagrams, but I don't really see them on America on Instagram. Not because I want to, but I don't really see it. Like, in other words, I don't think it's that common. And I think it would be really, really cool to see that, right? And even more cooler if I can show the progress to y'all, to y'all and share with which is exactly what i'm doing i've been showing updates on instagram and youtube and i have showed you guys this uh if not i'm still working on the video but on a plenty update video and it's doing super good i know you guys can tell but there is baby new leaves coming in so yeah i just a little bit of green but that's okay and what i think i want to do is to help a little bit more well i think it's almost done i think after a week no, i'm gonna i was gonna clean it just to give more light but after a week, these should be established. And I can already take it off. And they will get the 100% of the grill lights. And we'll make them, you know, go crazy. They, these, the burger string of hearts, or just any string of hearts, go crazy with grill lights. So, yeah, that is basically all the plants that have been pushing out lots of new growth. Just by seeing that gives me chills again. I feel it. It makes me super duper happy to see all of this happening still in winter. Winter's about to end, but. It's been such an amazing 2023, crazy, but I'm really excited for 2024 and I really want this year. I'm still gonna be buying plants. I think it's really, really fun to do that, but I am stepping into, I'm looking at my Instagram front that we got for clearance. I did post a post on Community Pulse. You can get some see another updates if you haven't. I wanna get more into buying plants on clearance and I also wanna get more into propagating plants. I really wanna rebuild my jungle again, but slowly. And the best way to do that is by propagating because it's free it takes a while it's rewarding and it's really fascinating to see that to see from a little baby to a nice mature luscious plant and that's what i'm trying to do for this channel for 2024 and again thank you so much for watching you guys i really really do appreciate you watching my videos it's so mind-boggling to me that there's people that watch them i mean obviously where i see the views but it's just crazy that people took the time out of their day and watch my videos and even more leave a comment. It, it gets me a little bit dizzy just by thinking about it. I'm really, really grateful to have you here. But yeah, those are the plants that make me super, super happy. Let me know which plants make you, I mean, I can say all of them, you guys. A lot, a lot of them are putting on new growth, my different bucket camouflage, polka dot begonia, Charles Charmante is not. The Charles Charmante is, Mover Queen Potos, Lemon Lime Philodendron, Lemon Lime Maranta is also putting out lots of straws but i didn't put them in the video because i want to show plants that are not just putting out new leaves but are plants that are making me super duper happy and that makes me happy but i gotta be like real like which when i wake up in the morning which plants do i go to after i get my coffee which are the plants that i go to first and it's this <laughs> these are the plants that i always go and check them out first so yeah let me know which are those plants to you um that gets you waking up in the morning you want to go ahead and see like the first thing you see first that you want to see let me know i'm really really curious and i'll see y'all oh something y'all positive eyes to each and every single one of you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye